Good morning, what's up everybody? Slater Moore here. Welcome back to another episode of Whale Watching in the Monterey Bay. Today we're headed out on the 9 a.m. trip. I got here a little bit early though uh, because I want to show you guys some of the favorite spots I like to shoot on the boat. So let's hop over onto the boat and I'll show you guys some cool stuff. All right, so the first spot I'm gonna show you guys is the front of the boat. Now this is one of the best places to be, but it also usually means you have to stand but you usually can't stand while the captain's driving because the captain needs to see, so you gotta look out for icebergs. <laughs> so, here's the front of the boat, and the reason why I like it so much is you got this whole view of the horizon out in front of you, so it makes it really nice to be able to scan for lower spout on the horizon so you can find those whales. But it's also a really good spot to watch the dolphins come over and bow ride, so you can lean right over in the front and see these guys riding right here. And when you are watching dolphins, they almost always come in at an angle, kind of like right where this pole is. So they come zooming in right here at an angle, right over to the front of the boat. Okay, so my other favorite spot on the boat is the back of the boat. Now, this is also a really good spot if you think you might get seasick. And the reason why is this is the most stable spot on the boat. So the back of the boat is really stable. Also, you're a lot lower than you are in the front of the boat. So it makes it really cool that you can get down low and get those nice angles on the whales and also have some of that background too. Depending on where you are, it might just be open ocean. But if you're close to the shore and you have a breaching humpback whale, you can get really low and get a really cool background. So I hope those tips help you guys on your next whale watch adventure. I'm gonna head upstairs, get my gear ready. Uh, I gotta clear an SD card off so I can hopefully put that drone up and capture some cool stuff from above. But I'm gonna go grab my gear, bring it down to the boat and I'll see you when we're at the whales. Now I said I was gonna show you guys the whales next, but I lied because we can't forget the California sea lions. All right, so we're just getting into an area that has multiple humpback whales. We're starting to see lots of bait uh, on the surface of the water. And there's actually a humpback whale just up in front of us slapping his pectoral fin on the water. So I'm gonna change lizards and get ready and hopefully I can get some looks. Wow, we are already watching like seven or eight humpback whales feeding with hundreds and hundreds of sea lions. I'm gonna get the drone put together and then I'm gonna put it up in the air, see if I can get some downward looks. All right, so we just left those humpbacks and sea lions. We're gonna let them continue on doing what they're doing, feeding on those anchovies. 
We just got word from another boat that there might be some dolphins up ahead and might have my favorite dolphin in the mix. So we're gonna head out that way and see if we can find them. So we pulled up on that huge pod of dolphins, ended up being uh, at least five or six hundred Rizzo's dolphins and maybe 30 or 40 Pacific white sided dolphins. There was actually some northern right whale dolphins mixed in as well, but I didn't get any looks at them. They kind of peeled off, so awesome looks all together. Got that drone up, saw all of them as a whole. That was really cool. So we're going to continue on and explore the bay and see what else we can find. All right, so we continued on down towards Carmel Bay, and we ended up running into some dolls porpoise, which was pretty cool. I wasn't able to get very many looks at them. They are pretty fast, but it was very cool to run into those for our passengers to get a couple looks at. So we're headed back into the harbor now. I'm gonna end this video right here. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next episode.